here we need to define gas pressure. Gas pressure is defined as the pressure exerted by a gas on the walls of a container due to collisions. So we've already discussed how gases are moving at high rates of speed. So now when these gases collide with the wall of a container, there is a certain amount of force that is transferred. So an individual molecule may not produce a large amount of force. However, you got to remember that we are dealing with a large amount of molecules. So here, 1.4 times 10 to the 23rd air molecules strike our eardrums in a single second. So it's this large number of collisions that create the actual pressure. So pressure is defined as force per unit area or force divided by area. And the SI unit for pressure is the Pascal, which is one kilogram per meters per second squared. A Pascal also has the unit of one Newton per meter squared. And what's kind of interesting is in general chemistry, we will almost never use the Pascal to define pressure. We will be using other common units of pressure, which are the ATM, the TOR, millimeters of mercury, and PSI. So an ATM is defined as typical atmospheric pressure. So one ATM is related to the atmospheric pressure that we feel here on Earth. So one ATM is supposed to equal that. Remember, it does change quite a bit. All of these units are just different ways of describing pressure. So there's a conversion unit between all of them. One thing I would like to point out is that the number on tor and millimeters of mercury are the same. So if I have 760 tor, I also have 760 millimeters of mercury. And then the common pressure that we see in everyday life is the PSI or pounds per square inch. So that's the unit of pressure that most people use when they are filling up their car tires with air pressure. So we can convert between these units of pressure just like we can convert between any other unit. So here I say a car tire is inflated to 35 PSI. I would like to know the pressure in ATM, TOR, and Pascals. So I use these conversion units. And so 35 PSI is equal to 2.38 ATM. So your car tire has a little bit more than twice the atmospheric pressure that you're feeling in the everyday environment. 35 PSI is also equal to 18.10.4 and 241,000 pascals. A couple other things that we need to define. How we measure pressure, we use a barometer to measure the pressure exerted by the atmosphere. So once again, our standard pressure, what we typically feel is 1 ATM or 760 TOR. Remember that changes depending on uh, where you're located or if you're high in the mountains. But if you want to measure atmospheric pressure at that given time, you use a barometer. And a barometer is used to help predict the weather. So whether or not the barometric pressure goes up or down will help predict what kind of weather is fixing to happen. Also, we have what's called a manometer, which is a device that measures the pressure of a gas. So if I'm doing an experiment and say I have a flask and I want to measure the pressure of the gas inside of the flask, I would use a manometer 